Hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. And today we're going to talk about three of the most profitable skills that every mortgage pro needs to know. So the top three skills every mortgage pro needs to know to win, not just in a fair weather market, but in any market. And so that's not just a mission critical skill to success in this industry as a mortgage pro, but it's a mission critical set of skills that allows you to sleep well at night, regardless of rates, inventory, regardless of hyper competition, margin compression, regardless of uh, whether you have a bunch of low hanging fruit with refis or not. All of those things, frankly, are inconsequential when it comes to your long term success, when you understand and master these three skills that I'm about to share with you today. So really jacked and stacked, delighted and excited to dive in and share these with you today. And so without further ado, let's get to it and do it, shall we? First off, I just want to highlight the fact that if you didn't know by now, I'm about to just remind you what you already know. And that is that your business, your mortgage business is a personal development course with a compensation plan attached. The more you grow, the more your income grows. So this is not about trying to mitigate competition. It's not about to try to try to control the uncontrollable. It's not trying to hold your breath and wait for things you have no control over to change like the market, like rates, like inventory, but it's about you becoming the best version of yourself and to become the badass version of yourself so that you can grow and expand your pipeline, your income, and scale your business regardless of market conditions. You might be thinking right now, Doran, that sounds like lollipops, unicorns, and rainbows. How is that possible? How can I grow my business when rates are where they're at and there's so much competition? Everyone and their dog is chasing after the same realtors. We don't have enough inventory. Fill in the blank with your challenge. And you might find it exceedingly hard to believe right now that you can actually grow your business and your income and your pipeline in the face of all these challenges. And to that, I just say simply keep your eyes, your heart open to what I'm about to share with you today. I get that that's your experience. I can appreciate that that's your experience. And that's simply a symptom, the fact that you've got that certainty that it's so hard. You have that certainty that your market and your situation is different. You have that certainty that it's a tough road to plow to be able to grow in this type of condition, in these type of conditions. And keep in mind, that's simply because you've been doing it the way you've been doing it. And therefore, you're getting it the way you're getting it. So those are simply symptoms that there's some opportunities to improve your process and improve in these three skill sets. Okay. So without further ado, let's dive in. The first skill is marketing, otherwise known as lead generation. So that's the lifeblood of your business, right? No leads. You got no business. It doesn't matter how great you are at finding a home for the loan. It doesn't matter how great you are at problem solving and be able to find a loan that no one else can find and to resurrect the deal no one else can resurrect. If you can't bring in quality, qualified leads, you're dead in the water. You know that to be true. So I want you to shift your perspective on this because most mortgage pros think they're in the mortgage business. And if that's the only way you see yourself that you're in the mortgage business and you do loans, you do mortgages, that's going to significantly cap and thwart your income, your growth, and the full potential that you can tap into and to really step into a whole new level of freedom that's available on the other side when you make the shift in your identity, the shift in what business you're truly in. Because I'm here to tell you, my friend, that you're not just in the mortgage business, you're in the marketing business. And the sooner you embrace that truth, and own it as your identity, that you're a marketer first and foremost, and that's the single most important role you fulfill every day in your business, you're going to absolutely 
have a fraction of a fraction of the potential that you have in your business actually be tapped into. You will have a glass ceiling that will perennially thwart your progress and thwart your ability to earn the income you know in your heart you're capable of making if you don't make that shift. So I invite you to just take it on right now and embrace that and start to affirm that, that I'm in the marketing business. More and more, I'm becoming the badass marketer that I know I'm capable of being and called to be. More and more, I'm becoming more adept, more sophisticated, and more powerful as a marketer, as a lead generation specialist. I want you to take that identity and make it your own. That will make an immediate shift. You'll Chances are, see an immediate shift in your ability to boost your income just with that one identity shift alone. So what exactly do we need, mean by marketing? Well, it's really about looking at all the different streams, but most importantly, identifying the shortest path to the cash streams to growing your business. So inside of the skill of marketing, there's lots of sub skills, right? There's YouTube marketing, there's email marketing, there's direct mail marketing, there's radio advertisements, there's billboards, there's you know all kinds of different methods to bring in leads, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, social media, uh, your database, whether it be from realtors, accountants, divorce attorneys, financial planners. I mean, there is an absolute plethora of pathways to prosper in the mortgage business. But my premise is that there's only one shortest path to the cash. And you might want to back up that one with two. But I'm all about building stability through diversification by taking the shortest path to the cash and building multiple streams that feed into a raging river of referrals and repeat and referral business, all using the most potently powerful and profitable method because there's no brownie points at the bank for doing it the hard way, right? So why take the harder path when you can take the easier path? Why, do you why take the less profitable path when you can take the most profitable path? So the shortest path to the cash is and always will be getting top producing realtors, not whining, sniveling, jelly donut eating, low producing realtors, but top producing realtors to make you their exclusive, who send you all their business all the time and make you their exclusive lender, their preferred lender. And that way you're linking up with the highest capacity referral sources that can send you high quality, high caliber, qualified referrals from a silver platter on a silver spoon on a regular basis who can send you one, two, three deals a month, not one, two, three deals a year. We're talking one, two, three deals a month, right? Can you think of a better, more profitable source of business than that? If you didn't have to deal with the prima donnas and the drama and trauma of, you know, the flakes and the domineering mavericks and all these, you know, symptoms of working with the wrong partners, there's a lot of drama and trauma that comes with that, right? If you've been in the business for more than a day, you know that to be true. But what if you could take out all the drama and trauma and all the stress and strife of working with the prima donnas and you just got to work with the cool cats who you love and adore, they love and adore you. You got chemistry, you got synergy, you know, they're the kind of person that you'd have a bevy with at the bar or at the barbecue or at the beach, right? They're a cool cat. Like they're, you would consider them a friend and vice versa. What if you could engineer your business to build a dream team of that kind of quality relationship where there's mutual honor, love, and respect, right? It changes everything because obviously not all leads are created equal. You can get a hundred leads. Uh, Facebook, or you can get 10 leads from a top producing realtor. And every one of those leads is a referral, not just a lead pre-sold on you before they even talk to you. Which would you prefer? The 100 leads from Facebook or the 10 hot for what you got referrals from a top producing realtor? Which one do you think is going to pay you more? Which one do you think is going to be easier to convert? Which one's going to take less time and give you more profit? Which one's going to give you more repeat and referral business and five-star rave reviews? Which one's going to be more fun and more fruitful and more fulfilling? You know the answer, right? 
hundred percent, hands down, it's going to be the referrals, the 10 referrals from top producing realtors versus the 10 X leads, 100, 100 leads. So 10 X that amount, but the caliber is not the same. The quality is not the same. You're sifting through a mountain of gravel just to find a few gold nuggets. That's doing it the hard way. Again, there's no merit badges at the bank for doing it the hard way, right? So why not take the easier path? Why not just press the P button on the elevator and go straight to making prosperity money, penthouse money versus grinding up the 100-story staircase with a 50-pound backpack, busting your bun, sweating your bag off, doing it the hard way up the staircase, right? There's no brownie points for doing it the hard way. So when it comes to lead generation, there's really two skills that are the shortest path to the cash, okay? One is attracting realtors. You want to get really good, really adept at booking appointments with top producing realtors and to be able to do it in a way where you're not losing your dignity. You're not having to inflict yourself with a hell of cold calling, begging, bribing, or kissing butts. You might think, well, Doran, that sounds wonderful. It kind of sounds like the Loch Ness Monster. You hear about it, but you never see it, right? And if that's you, you may want to reach out and book a call with us at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply, because that's certainly a very common plight in this business. And that's a big reason why smart, ambitious, growth-minded mortgage professionals hire us is because it's not an easy code to crack and they don't want to try and reinvent the wheel, try to figure this stuff out from scratch. They want to just stick their key in the ignition and drive away with something that actually works right from the get-go, where they can attract partners versus chase where they can use an attraction-based method, kind of like moths to a porch light on a dark summer's night versus chasing and begging and bribing and groveling and butt kissing, right? That's that's doing it the hard way. That's no fun. As they say in Mexico, that's no bueno, right? That's no bueno. So when it comes to the skills inside of the skill called marketing, you want to get really good at realtor attraction which is booking appointments with those realtors and orchestrating the meetings, the appointments in a way that gets them eating out of your hand. So you're the welcome guest versus the annoying pest. So they feel privileged to have the opportunity to work with you, not the other way around. So you're able to flip the script so that they need you more than you need them. How cool would that be to be able to flip that script, right? It changes everything. It changes the entire dynamic in the power play and the power positioning that you have when you're having those kind of dialogues where it's like, you're not being interviewed by them. They're being interviewed by you, right? That changes everything. And if they start becoming a prima donna, if they don't abide by your rules of engagement, your ROEs, you just fire them and replace them. Simple as that. So you're in the power position. You hold the cookie. You're in the driver's seat. Again, anything less than that is doing it the hard way. So that's what you need to really focus on and embrace pursuing mastery around. It's not about posting on social media five times a day. It's not about becoming you know, some whiz kid at YouTube, although that may be certainly helpful. It's not about having some fancy funnels where you're driving traffic through Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, although that may be a great supplemental source of business if you're not having to sift through the mountain of gravel just to find a few gold nuggets, the mountain of chaff, just a few kernels. Those are all distant second or third place priority. The top priority that you want to build master around and become a badass at is attracting top producing realtors. That's the first skill inside of that skill. The second skill inside of that skill is to learn how to mine the gold from your database, maximize repeat and referral business and rave reviews. We call it the R3 formula, where you have systems, policy, procedure, protocol, campaigns that work while you're not working to engineer your business so you're exceeding expectations, to engineer your business so that a client begets more clients in the form of repeat and referral business, and to engineer your business so that each client you do close a loan for becomes a happy client and sends you a glowing, stunning rave review, a five-star review. And you can start to show up 
and shine online with a five-star reputation so you can get hot for what you got referrals from Google because people are searching on Google every single day in your market, in your city, in your location who are hot for what you got borrowers looking for a top-notch, credible, reputable mortgage professional in your area. And if you're not showing up and shining online with a five-star reputation, you're getting left in the dust by someone who does. And all that business is just flying right over your head to your competitor. So that's another reason why smart, ambitious, growth-minded mortgage professionals hire us in mortgagemarketingcoach.com is to learn how to crack that code on becoming the only logical choice in their market when it comes to local borrowers searching for a mortgage professional in their area and having them be the only logical choice, as well as, of course, systems for mining the gold from the database, building top of mind awareness. So when someone in your database thinks mortgage, you're the only logical choice. It's like, boom, right? When they think mortgage, you're the only cat they think about. Why? Because you've been in front of them every week with high quality HD, helpful educational videos on home maintenance and mortgage and real estate and financial literacy. And you got a kick-ass newsletter or postcard you send out every month that is just fantastic, that positions you as the expert. Again, that builds that top of mind awareness that has calls to action, that's fun, that's engaging, that's newsworthy, that's educational. And you connect with them on all these different fronts on their birthday and their uh, their home purchase anniversary, their mortgage anniversary, all these different touch points. These are called trigger campaigns. And you have a CRM that undergirds this whole process. So now you're no longer building a you-based business. You're building a systems-based business. That's all inside of the skill set of marketing. You need to learn how to deploy marketing campaigns and have it undergirded with marketing systems that work while you're not working. And until and unless you develop that skill at a high level, you're going to significantly thwart and limit your income potential in this business. You're going to leave a lot of money on the table to your competitors. You're going to leave a lot of money on the table by virtue of leakage, hemorrhaging opportunity, and paying a hefty tuition to what we call here on Planet Prosper, the university of not knowing. Not knowing how to mine the gold from your database, not knowing how to maximize repeat and referral business, not knowing how to set up trigger campaigns to send out the right message at the right time to the right people, not knowing how to segregate your database so you're able to have super custom communications to the right people at the right time, at the right moment, not knowing how to attract these top producing realtors, not knowing how to create a you know, custom tailored highly targeted, laser-focused list, not knowing how to make that initial overture so they're hot for what you got, not knowing how to get them pre-sold on you before they even talk to you, not knowing how to book appointments with these top producing agents like a hot knife through butter. You see, if you don't know how to do this stuff, you don't know if you don't know how to dominate on Google with five-star reviews, that you'll be left behind by a competitor who does. If you don't know how to attract these top producing realtors, especially in a market like this, you will be left behind by a competitor who does. If you don't know how to mine the gold from your database and maximize repeat and referral business, you will be left behind by a competitor who does. And that's precisely why having that marketing skill set is so mission critical. And to understand that your identity is in this business, you are in the marketing business first and foremost. You just so happen to be marketing mortgages, but you are a marketer and you're in the marketing business. Make sense, guys? That's a huge game shifter when you embrace that principle. So let's move on to the second skill set, shall we? Second skill set of the top three most profitable skill sets every mortgage pro needs to know to win, not just in a fair weather market, but in any market, is sales, otherwise known as lead conversion. So marketing was lead generation, sales is lead conversion. So this is where you take a lead and you convert it into an application and a closing, right? So obviously there are thwarting points or friction points along that journey from client, from prospect to client, from client to closing or client to application rather, application to closing, closing to repeat and referral business and 
the goal is to be, have them become an evangelist, a brand ambassador for your business. Well, every point in that client continuum has friction points. So you want to develop a robust skill set and to be able to take a prospect and to get them on the phone and to do a discovery call and to identify their you know, what they're wanting to accomplish and identify their map of the world and to build rapport from a standing start and to elicit trust and to speak and communicate with authority and with certainty so that not only do they, not only do you feel certain that you can help them, they feel certain that you can help them, right? So if you're taking notes, you might want to write down this principle. I am a merchant of certainty. I am a merchant of certainty. You're not selling mortgages, you're selling certainty. Because if you can't sell certainty, you can't sell anything else. If you can't transfer certainty from your heart and mind to their heart and mind, you're not going to sell anything else. If you can't give them the sense that you care and give them the sense that you're likable, and that you're someone they can trust to get the job done with certainty, then you will not enroll them in the opportunity to do business with you. So that's why embracing the identity that you are a merchant of certainty and that your heart connected to purpose to serve a fellow soul out of their problem and into the best solution and tell them unless you're able to embrace that and become a badass at that skill set, you're going to leave a lot of money on the table because people will use and abuse you, waste your time, and then only to have them ghost you and work with your competitor who gives them higher certainty that they're going to get the best mortgage with the best rates in terms available. And it's not who has the best mortgage with the best rates in terms available that wins. It's the one who is the best at the transference of certainty in getting the prospect, the client to feel certain that they're going to get the best outcome with the least amount of time, energy, and stress and money, perhaps, but not necessarily just money because the price is what you pay. The value is what you get. So it's not just about the money. Otherwise, everyone would be driving fireflies instead of Ferraris, right? It's not just about the money. Price is what you pay. Value is what you get. So certainty is inextricably linked with the value that the client sees in working with you. And it's the certainty they have that they're going to get the best outcome with the best experience in working with you versus the bank or one of your competitors. So that's the whole skill set around sales is to be able to get a higher percentage of your ideal clients that you're attracting to convert into closings. And so there's different aspects of that skill set, right? There's your ability to get name, email, phone number in the lead generation skill set, and now getting them on the phone with you. So that's where having booking forms where they book an appointment and they book into your calendar, an automated follow-up, text and email, and a email confirmation that reminds them what's in it for them. You see, everyone's dialed into the same radio station, WIIFM, what's in it for me, which means you need to speak to what they care about, not what you care about. And the same thing goes with realtors. If you're trying to get an appointment with a realtor, we like to use the metaphor of cheese and whiskers. And the same thing goes with prospects, cheese and whiskers. What are you talking about, Dorn? What are you talking about? Cheese and whiskers? Help me connect the dots on this. Well, if you're trying to attract a mouse, you want to give them cheese because you know mice love cheese, right? But what they don't like is whiskers. Why do they not like whiskers, Dorn? Well, you probably figured it out by now because they know whiskers are attached to something that wants to eat them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's called a cat, right? So you want to give them all cheese, no whiskers. All cheese, but no whiskers. Because those whiskers, they'll scare people away. And the whiskers are things like commission breath halitosis, right? If you seem needy, that's whiskers. If you lack confidence, that's whiskers. If you seem arrogant, that's whiskers. If you're socially clunky and awkward, that's whiskers. If 
you lack a confident and certain pathway to identify what is it they're wanting to accomplish and to show them how to get it. That's whiskers. If you lack skills and the ability to succinctly and powerfully using the power of brevity, lead them to that next step because everyone's secretly begging to be led. That's worth writing down, by the way. Everyone is secretly begging to be led. So if you're lacking that identity as the leader, as the concierge to lead them from A to B, from where they are to where they want to be, and you're lacking that certainty, confidence, and authority that that's your role, not out of arrogance, but out of confidence and competence, because you know you have everything you need. And if you don't have what you need, you'll get what you need. You own the identity that if you don't have the answers, you'll get the answers. You own the identity that your most powerful and potent unique value proposition is the fact that you care. I often say that you can't be half pregnant. You can't half care. You either care or you don't. And the same is true here. When you own your identity as someone who truly cares because your heart connected to purpose to make a difference in someone's life. You're not there simply for a pursuit for profit, but you know that just like Ziggy Ziglar said, the more you can help other people get what they want in their life, the more you can get anything you want in your life. You're there to serve a fellow soul out of their problem, of their strife, their stress, and into the solution, the best solution. And if you can't, if you can't be 100% certain you can help them, then you steer them to something else that would be better but you're there to serve. And as Jesus said, the greatest among you is the greatest servant. So the more you sell, the more you serve. Embrace the fact that you are great at sales because some of you have an identity that I'm bad at sales, Doran. I can't do sales. I used to be in IT. I used to be in customer service. I used to, you know, to sell cupcakes. I used to groom dogs. I used to be a dentist, whatever it is. And you might have this identity that you feel inadequate as a salesperson because you don't have enough experience with it, or you feel like your your personality is more of an introvert versus an extrovert, whatever the case is. And so if you have that identity that you're bad at sales, I promise you, you will be bad at sales because your results will always follow your identity. Rarely in life, Will our results in life exceed that which we believe we're capable and worthy of? Let me repeat that. Rarely in life will our results exceed that which we believe we're capable and worthy of. So if you don't feel like you're capable at sales, then you will prove yourself right. It's like Henry Ford, he said, whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. So I want to invite you to embrace a new identity. Are you willing to try this on? Are you willing to be coachable? I hope you are. I trust if you're watching this, that you're humble enough to embrace a new perspective and to realize that you need other people in your life to shine light in your blind spots. That when you're inside the label, it's hard, when you're inside the bottle, it's hard to see the label, right? That's the power of coaching is coaches shine light in those dark zones and those blind spots. We don't even realize it's in the realm called we don't know that we don't know. I need coaching. You need coaching. All the best performers, all the best athletes, all the best achievers in the world have coaches for that very reason, to elevate our perspective, to elevate our knowledge, to elevate by virtue of shining light in the darkness, in the areas we just didn't even know we didn't know. And this is a perfect case in point. So here's what I want you to embrace, that you're great at sales because you care about people and because you're a servant at heart, that you love to serve people. You love to help people. Here's the truth. If you'll embrace that principle, that identity, that I'm great at sales because I love serving. And the more I sell, the more I serve, the more I sell. I'm great at sales because I'll, I'm great at serving. The more I serve, the more I sell. Can you embrace that? Does that land true for you? If it does, then game on, baby. You're about to watch your sales soar because now you're getting out of your own way. And instead of having a friction point that puts the brakes on in your business, 
We're removing the brakes. Oh, now you can go full throttle with service, heart connected to purpose, to serve a fellow soul, and your identity is in alignment. It's congruent. It's in alignment with the success you desire. You're no longer butting heads with your identity and with your dreams. Now you're fully aligned. You feel that? Changes everything. So that's what you want to embrace and build mastery muscle around is the ability to convert leads into closings simply by being a servant. You're going to do that through follow-up text, follow-up emails, booking forms, showing up with confidence and certainty on the phone, having a great dynamite discovery call, listening, using your ears and your mouth in proportion. You have two ears, right? Two ears and one mouth means you're going to be listening more than you're talking, and you're going to be leading, leading them to that next step, showing them the way, right? And that's really all it is. That's all it is. That's what sales is all about, leading them from where they are to where they want to be, listening, qualifying, and leading. That's it. And of course, you need to do some follow-up. You need to have a CRM to follow up, to put it in your calendar, to have a task to remind you to follow up with you know, Mrs. Smith on Friday. You need to have the systems to do that. Otherwise, things are going to fall through the cracks, right? So that's sales. Let's move on to the third one, shall we? The third skill of the top three most profitable skills that allow you to win in any market is customer service, fulfillment, otherwise known as fulfillment. So that's where you fulfill on that which you promised. You see, because if you don't have great customer service, if you don't fulfill on your promises, or if you have lackluster fulfillment or a lackluster customer support, having great marketing will just accelerate the speed at which people find out you suck. And that's not going to help much, right? So it's important to have great marketing, great storytelling, great educational experience with great energy that's congruent with a brilliant brand that gets out there through social media, through email, through direct mail, through telephone, through referrals, through Zoom, through all these different methods and tools and arrows in the quiver we have to get our message out there. But then also our fulfillment is we under promise and we over deliver. And that's not because we're, you know, saying we suck. It's because we're reminding people, once you get a taste of great, you're never going to want to settle for good because you care more than anyone else. You will out hustle more than anyone else. You will deliver more than anyone else. And you bring excellence for excellence sake. And when things fall through the cracks, which they will, because you're human, you look for an opportunity to get better, right? Where was the break in our system? What part of our policy, procedure, protocol, or systems do we need to improve to prevent this or mitigate this in the future? You see better quality questions equal better quality answers. Again, you want a system business, not just a you-based business. That's the difference between Bob's Burger Joint doing you know, $200,000 a year, making sloppy burgers. And if they don't work, they don't get paid versus McDonald's that's doing billions and billions and billions of dollars. And they got pimple popping teenagers running operations. How is that possible? Because they have systems that undergird every facet Every little policy procedure protocol is all documented. Their entire business is undergirded with airtight policy procedure protocol and systems. So great customer support and great fulfillment is not just about you being great. It's about having great systems. And of course, having a great team, which means you have the right people in the right seats of the bus. If you have someone who's, you know, gets giddy at the thought of, Excel spreadsheets and bean counting and tracking numbers and messing with the calculator. And they're an introvert and they're super great. They're like a total propeller head when it comes to techie stuff. But, you know, they couldn't do customer service if their life depended on it because they kind of, they're awkward uh, or they're just, you know, they're not personality aligned with the customer support or they're not a personality aligned with sales. You're not going to put the propeller head in the sales position. And likewise, you're not going to have the salesperson as your propeller head because they're going to hate it and they're going to suck and they're going to leave all kinds of things dropping. They're going to drop balls left, right, and center. 
They're going to be hating every minute of it. They're going to feel like a lion in a cage or an eagle in a cage. So in both scenarios, you've got great people, but you got the wrong personality in the wrong role. You got the wrong superpower in the wrong role. So you want to do what you do best in your zone of genius, and you want to get the, the rest. Teamwork makes the dream work. I know it sounds cliche, but it's true. So you want to build a dream team where everyone's operating. There's a zone of genius and it's all undergirded by policy, procedure, protocols, and systems. And it's a culture of excellence. Everyone does excellence for excellence sake. That's who you are. That's who the individuals on your team are. That's why you hire them because they've got a wake of awesome in everything they do. They do it with excellence for excellence sake, superstars only. That's how champions roll. That's how you build a dream team that delivers first-class, world-class experience. And that's certainly what we do our best to do at MortgageMarketingCoach.com is build a dream team to serve you with excellence, to not just meet your expectations, but exceed your expectations. And certainly our case studies and our success stories on our website are a perfect case in point on that. So if you're listening to this, if you're watching this, you're like, Dorn, this is a great reminder I need to improve in all three of those areas, in marketing, in sales, as well as customer support, customer service. But I really need help with the lead generation because if I can get a good quality lead, I can slam dunk that into a loan and I can give them a great experience such that they give me repeat and referral business. My biggest bottleneck, Dorn, is I just need more quality leads. If that's you, where you are weak, we are unique. So if that's you, I want to invite you to book a complimentary breakthrough call with myself or one of my consultants at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. That's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. And the reason why we have the forward slash apply is because it's a conversation to see if we're the right fit. I haven't met you yet. You haven't met me yet. And frankly, not everyone we talk to is the right fit for our solution. So we're not going to put our, you know, our hand in your wallet just to make a sale, just because we're having a lead conversion conversation. No, that's not how we work. We're wanting to find out if we're going to be a good fit. We're going to really lift up the hood in your business and look at what's working, what's not working in your business right now. Where are you at in your business right now? Where do you want to take it? And if we can help you create a breakthrough in your business and if we have 100% certainty that we can be that solution for you, we'll show you what that looks like. If not, frankly, we'll be the first to advise you to pass on our services. And I don't just say that just like, as it's kind of like just a passing saying, just because it sounds cool. That's who we are. That's what we represent. That's what we wholeheartedly believe to our core. Anything less than that is malpractice. It's like if you just prescribe a solution without doing a proper diagnosis to ensure it's the best solution, in our mind, that's malpractice. So this is about our conviction on what we know to be true is going to serve you the best. And we're going to just really have an honest conversation to see if we can help you. And if we can, we'll show you what that looks like. And if not, we'll be the first to advise you to pass. But either way, you will leave that meeting, that call with massive value, massive clarity. And chances are we're going to have some fun. Unless you're not very fun, then we won't. <laughs> Just playing with you. But there is some truth to that too. Some people are not really that fun. So if you're fun, even better. If you're not fun, don't book a call. Because frankly, we like to work with fun people. And I mean that to be completely authentically true. That we love to work with fun people want to have more fun in their life. They want more funds in their life. They want more freedom in their life. They want more fulfillment in their life. And the cool thing about fun people, when they have more freedom and more funds, they're even more fun and they make the world a better place. They help more people. They serve more people and they make a bigger impact in the world. We want to help people like that. So if that's you, go ahead and book a call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Again, that's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Thanks for hanging with me. This is Doran Aldana coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. I hope you got some value from our time together today. And again, if you're ready to take your business to the next level and start working smarter instead of just working harder and learn how to win, not just in a fair weather market, but in any market, book a call and let's see if we can help you. Mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply.
Be blessed, y'all. We'll talk soon. Peace.